Today, I'll be reacting to the best Larry Bird versus LeBron James story ever told. Now, LeBron James and Larry Bird, they are two of the greatest players ever in NBA history. I think LeBron the GOAT. That's my opinion. I think Larry Bird is sixth all time. A lot of people in my comments been saying Larry Bird better than LeBron. I don't know about that. So let's go right into the video. In the book titled, When the Game Was Ours, written by Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan shared his 100% honest opinion about Larry Bird. He said, people ask me all the time who my top five players are. And when I start saying Larry, they interrupt me. They say, you've got to be kidding me. He can't play with LeBron James. I tell them, you guys don't get it. Larry is far better than any small forward who played the game. Now, the lazy person would chalk that statement up to Michael Jordan being a LeBron hater. He's not even looking at the. I think he was, was looking, he looking at Michael at, Jordan. I was thinking the same thing. Michael Jordan's a little left of that Charlotte bench. I think that was a look at Michael like. Hey, I'm not saying MJ a LeBron hater or not, but Larry Bird is not better than LeBron. I'm sorry. He's just not. He's just not. You can appreciate Larry Bird. I think Larry Bird is the second greatest small forward ever after LeBron, but better? Nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I think you're right. I think that's exactly what he was looking. He was right looking. At him. But not too long ago, this was common knowledge. If you give me both these guys and you say you can start your team with either Larry Bird or LeBron James, oh, you're taking LeBron. I'm taking Larry Bird no, and I'm not. taking my chances. No, Thank you very not. much. You know why? Larry yes. Bird was the baddest son of a gun on the planet and in a mean? league with Magic Johnson, mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, oh, so Dr. J. He was the best player in the world when the NBA and was LeBron's at a, when a greater the best level. In the world. It ain't the same NBA. This, 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 this sucker oh. won three straight NBA. Let me ask you this. With, with Larry Magic Bird couldn't get through him at one point. the best player in the world right now? I believe he would. Oh, he'd be better than Kevin Durant. I believe he would. Yes, no, he would. I believe he no, would. No, he wouldn't. Okay, he Larry just Bird, have if, the he, if, he, if his back didn't give out on him, if he didn't have surgery, if his body didn't fail him, talking about we him. having a whole different conversation about Larry Legend. I'm sorry. He he had it all. So. Okay, so that was Jamel Hill, and I think his name was Michael Smith. I think that was his name right. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Okay, now, when he said Larry Bird was better than LeBron, when was that video taped? Because it showed LeBron in Miami in the back. Was that when LeBron had his first ring? Was that after LeBron went back to back? Like, when did that video happen? Because if that was LeBron first year in Miami when he didn't have nothing, okay, I'm not mad at him for saying that because LeBron didn't have nothing. But now... LeBron with four championships and four finals MVPs. LeBron James, top 10 all-time in assists. Let's see, the greatest score in NBA history, just numbers-wise. LeBron has the most points in NBA history. Like, come on. Like, come on. Like, come on. LeBron James is better than Larry Bird. But at that time, if LeBron didn't have nothing, okay, that makes sense. But no, ain't no way. Now, Jamel Hill, she said at that time, Larry Bird would be better than Kevin Durant. Uh, Larry Bird is better than Kevin Durant. That's my opinion. Larry Bird is, is better than Kevin Durant. It's close. Don't get me wrong. It's close. But Larry Bird, yeah, he's better than Kevin Durant, though. Oh, Larry Bird. Larry Legend. I'm sorry. He, he had it all. So, Larry Bird or LeBron James? And for the record, if you ask me who, who I'd take over 20 years, I'd take LeBron. But if you ask me who I'd take for one season, it gets very interesting. Because I'd take a 1986 Larry Bird season over any single season performance from any player that ever lived. And if you ask me who I'd take for one game, or better yet, one shot, well, I'll let someone who actually lived through the Bird era tell you what they think. Wait, 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 hold up. Hold up, hold up. There's no one in NBA history better than 2018 LeBron James. There's no way. Well, 2017, 2018, LeBron James. There's no one better than that. No one. That was the greatest basketball player ever. Larry Bird, that season, he was great. I give him that. But 2018, Bron, no. That's the greatest player ever, by far. That is not even close, honestly. Okay, it might be close. But <laughs> it might be close. But still, that still was the greatest player ever. 2018, Bron, most definitely. All I know is one game from... Let me go back a little bit. Just a little bit. One shot? Well, I'll let someone who actually lived through the Bird era tell you what they think. All I know is one game from my life, I want Larry Joe Bird taking my last shot. That guy from French Lick, Indiana. Game on the line, free throw, three, jump shot, whatever it was. I'll take Larry Bird any day or any night over especially LeBron James. Yeah,
Now, if you're still a Larry Legend denier, I'm about to tell you how one shot changed the course of history, helped rewrite the narrative of an entire generation, and almost made Larry Bird the undisputed greatest of all time. If you want Larry Bird to take the game-winning shot over LeBron, I'm not mad at you for that. I'm not mad at you for that. Now, LeBron, LeBron is definitely one of the most clutchest players in NBA history. I know a lot of people say LeBron not clutch. Like, come on. We saw countless times LeBron James be clutch. Like, come on now. But yeah, I'm not mad at that. If you want Larry Bird taking a game-winning shot over LeBron, no, I'm not mad at you for that. Now, time and time again, Larry Bird came up clutch in the biggest situations. Max looking, looking. Loops it to Bird, a runner. It's good! It's good! And the Celtics win it! Bird hits and the Celtics win it! 103 to 101, a three pointer by Larry Bird at the buzzer. And he aims to inbounds for the Celtics, trailing by one, two seconds left. In the Bird, he fires. He yes! And yeah, Larry the Celtics Bird was nice. win! Unbelievable! Larry Bird! So in the 1987 NBA Finals versus the Lakers, when Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics were trying to repeat as NBA champions, Celtic Nation came to expect it. And in Game 4 at the Boston Garden, with the Celtics down 2-1 to one in the series, the game came down to the wire. Boston 4, LA 2. Bird. Boston. Tied up Harris and they lose it. Cooper. It's a three on three break. Cooper with a three and hits it with a minute and a half to go. A long time ago. Kareem does it and the Lakers. They were hooping. <laughs> they were hooping. Jumping for joy and they lead it 104 to 103 and another timeout called by Casey Jones. And coming out of a timeout, Larry Bird as confident as ever tells his defender, James Worthy, exactly what he's going to do to him. He would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time. You might have heard this before because he did it with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. With DJ handling, Mikael's going to set up a pick for, for Robert. That's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. And he says, if you trail, I'm going to trail into the lane to a little floater. He said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm going to pop to that corner and bust a jumper in your face. I'm, I'm all up on it. <laughs> you know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. You know, I'm like, you. You, know I'm like, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I mean, he ain't talking. He ain't gonna... Sure enough, man. He The ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but... He pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting, you know. Waiting. Uh, <laughs> Bird goes for three. And the Lakers call time with 12 seconds left. Larry Bird with a big three point bomb has given the Celtics the lead. Yeah, Larry Bird funny for that. Why he do James Worthy like that? <laughs> that's tough though that's tough i i like trash talk i like trash talk so i respect larry bird for that <laughs> he was a man of his word <laughs> with the celtics up by two kareem comes down and gets fouled with eight seconds left he makes the first and misses the second One Celtic rebound could have sealed this game, but the ball goes out of bounds and the Lakers get the possession. And with seven seconds to go, the Lakers still had life. Just three years earlier in the 1984 finals versus the Celtics, Magic Johnson choked in a similar situation, earning the nickname Tragic Johnson. But this time he was ready. My man switched to Kareem and Kevin McHale jumped out to me. As soon as I saw Kevin, I said, oh, I'm taking him. You know, Magic puts it on the floor, a couple head and shoulder fakes, and he raised up in the air, and there was nobody that was going to get that shot. Down by one, with two seconds on the clock, 
Larry Bird and the Celtics find themselves in a situation they've been in many times before. Johnson on the inbound. Bird fires it. Freeze. What do you think happened? Now let's give this shot some context. For two years straight, the Boston Celtics had the greatest home court advantage of all time. The prior year, in 1986, the Celtics finished with a regular season record of 40 and 1. This record still. Man, 40 and 1 at home is crazy. What? Nah, that's crazy. No, nah, that's elite right there. That's elite. With a regular season record of 40 and 1. That's crazy. This record still stands as the best regular season home record ever. Yes. Better than Michael Jordan's 96 Bulls and better than Steph Curry's 2016 or 2017 Golden State Warriors. And if you include the playoffs, they were 50 and 1 at home. No way. So for everyone who thinks the 96 Bulls and the 2017 Warriors are the two best teams of all time, at home, Larry Bird's 1986 Celtics were better. Okay, I'm glad he said at home. I was about to say, ain't no way the Celtics 86 team is better than uh, the 96 Bulls in uh, 20, was that 2017? When Kevin Durant got there? Yeah, the 2017, 2018 Golden State Warriors. Ain't no way. I don't think that Celtics team is better than the 2017 or 2018 Warriors. That Warriors team was crazy, but that's another conversation for another day. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for that one. Y'all ain't ready for that. Let that sink in. Someone asked me the other day, they said, it's the toughest arena you had to play in. And I said, uh, Garden, Boston. I said, they were almost impossible to go in there and beat because you could not make a mistake with them. Those guys made you play. And it was him. Like, he was like, a, he was a savant on the court. Like, just a savant. Like, two plays ahead on everything. And so, please, let's not forget how hard it was to go into Boston and beat a team when Bird is in his prime. Unfortunately, the Celtics fell off that following year in 1987. They were 39-2 at home. <laughs> so including the playoffs, for the last two years, the Celtics were 99-4 at the Boston Garden up until that shot by Bird. This means, statistically, there was a 96% chance that that potential game-winning shot by Bird was going in. Now, what do you think happened? Well, they set up a great play. Bird walked Worthy all the way up, forced the denial all the way up. We, we've done it before. Clear everybody out, go to the ball, and break to the corner. Max looking, looking, loops it to Bird. <laughs> Two seconds left. In the Bird, he fires. He yes! And the Celtics win! Bird, a runner. It's good! Yeah! It's good! And the Celtics win it! Sit on the inbound. Bird fires it. He caught it here, and as he caught it, all he had to do was turn. And just turn, and he just let this thing go. Bird fires it. Got a wide open look. Couldn't believe it. And I'm standing right there. It is straight as an arrow. And the Lakers have won in Pat Riley. And the Lakers dance off the court. Nah. You let Larry Bird get a wide open shot for game is crazy. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, they got away with that one. Because there's no way. <laughs> Out of all the people, you let Larry Bird get the wide open shot. No, nah, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, they got away with that one. I know they was, man. I, <laughs> I don't know they was happy like crazy. Like, yeah, we almost screwed that game. <laughs> man, that's funny. They were lucky. Because it's right on line. Let me go back a little bit. They were lucky because it's right on line. He looked at me like, how did you ever leave me that wide open? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Change the whole series. Every time I watch that shot, I still think it's going in. Larry thought it was going in. Magic thought it was going in. Pat Riley thought it was going in. If Larry Bird took that exact same shot in that exact same situation 10 times, he'd probably hit 9 of them. 
And if Larry Bird hits that shot, then the series is tied 2-2. Two to two. And with the next game at the Boston Garden, there's no way you can convince me that this Celtic team, with the greatest home court advantage of all time, led by one of the most clutch players in NBA history, doesn't win that next home game. So instead of being down 3-2 to two, going back to L.A. and losing those NBA Finals, the Celtics would have been up 3-2. to two. And with all of that momentum on the Celtics side, all they needed to do was win one game in L.A. to give Larry Bird his fourth title, add another Finals MVP to his collection, become the first team to win back-to-back -back titles since Bill Russell with the Celtics in the 60s, and silence all doubt on who won the Bird vs. Magic rivalry. One shot could have changed everything. And That's true. That, that one shot actually like changed everything. Especially about, man, if he made that, that probably would have changed everything about like the him and Magic argument. I agree with that. If he made that shot, that probably would have changed everything. One shot could have changed everything. And the conversation about the greatest player of all time would have been very different. Larry Bird at his best, LeBron James at his best. Oh, I gotta go with Larry Joe. I gotta go with Larry Joe. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe, uh, <laughs> for the win. When Reggie Miller said that, it we have to go back what Reggie Miller said, though. Did he say Larry Bird for the win? Let me go back. Let me go back. Best, LeBron James at his best. Oh, I gotta go with Larry Joe. I got to go with Larry Joe. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe uh, <laughs> for the win. When Reggie Miller said that. That's what I'm saying. He said at the end for the win. See, if he want Larry Bird over LeBron, like if y'all want Larry Bird to take the game winning shot over LeBron, I'm not mad at that. But if you think Larry Bird better than LeBron, I can't agree with you on that. I can't, I can't agree with you on that. LeBron's better than Larry Bird. He is. LeBron's like the greatest all around player ever. Yes, Larry Bird's all around too. But LeBron with his skill, like say LeBron can score, pass, rebound, play defense. Do you add his athleticism and his dominance? Like, Ain't nobody stopping LeBron. 6'8", 260. This man is basically a whole bear. <laughs> like, going going full speed at you every time LeBron drive, his shoulder hits your chest, you're done. Like, Larry Bird was nice. Larry Bird had skill. But over LeBron, nah. Nah, Larry Bird was a great all-around player, but he ain't over LeBron, no. Larry Joe, uh, <laughs> for the win. When Reggie Miller said that, it was headline news the next day because the media fawns over LeBron James more than ever. But to many Larry Legend truthers, it wasn't a surprise at all. Skip, Reggie would take Bird over LeBron. Do you concur, my friend? I do concur in a hypothetical Of course you got the biggest LeBron hater agreeing with Reggie. <laughs> no, dead serious though. I think Skip Bayless like LeBron. I, I I think Skip Bayless like LeBron. He just he he just be trolling sometimes. I think I honestly do think Skip Bayless like LeBron though. I think he just do it to be funny. Like like he act like he hate on him just to be funny. I truly do believe Skip Bayless like LeBron though. But no, Skip funny though. Let's go back when he first began talking though. Skip Bayless is hilarious. You concur, my friend. I do concur. In a hypothetical draft, would I take him over LeBron James to start my my franchise? Yes, I would. And, and I don't think it's even close. What? Now, you would think that Skip Bayless, as the ultimate contrarian, would be challenged by his co-host for such an opinion. However, this is one of the rare things that they 100% agreed on. You know, in terms of leadership, in terms of clutch, in terms of shooting ability, and overall championship credentials, not just trophies, but a mentality. Larry Bird gets the nod over LeBron James. I, I no, 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 no. But like I said, when was this recorded? Did LeBron have, was this LeBron before he got his first ring in Miami? Was this after his first ring in Miami? Was this after his second? Now, it, it just depends. But if you ask that question now, there's no way you telling me you starting a basketball team. You got Larry Bird and LeBron James right in your face. You saying, Skippy LeBron picking Larry Bird. Ain't no way. 
I'm not doing, ain't no way. I'm not doing that at all. I'm picking LeBron straight up. No hesitation. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you ask them this question now, I think both of them saying LeBron James. I think so. I think so. Especially Stephen A. Skip, I don't know. Skip might try to be funny, but <laughs> but Stephen A, I think Stephen A, Stephen A multiple times said LeBron James is the second greatest basketball player ever. He thinks Michael Jordan better than LeBron. Not mad at that. I think LeBron better than Michael Jordan, but Stephen A multiple times said LeBron is the second greatest basketball player ever. There's no way you start a team, you choose Larry Bird over LeBron. I'm not. Larry Bird was nice. I'm not saying he played in a plumber era. He was horrible at basketball. He will be horrible in today's game. I'm not saying none of that. I think Larry Bird will be great in today's game, especially with his skill set. I think Larry Bird will be great in today's game. But in terms of being better than LeBron, I have to disagree. Larry Bird's not better than LeBron. But a mentality, Larry Bird gets the nod over LeBron James. I I'm guessing that right now about 80% of our viewing audience does not agree with either one of us. Well, that, 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 all that means is that they don't know anybody. They don't know. I would love to pick LeBron, but in terms of clutch, money time, there's no, there's no contest. He's not even in Larry Bird's class. But this, okay, number one, number one, LeBron's clutch. So we got to stop th that, with that conversation. LeBron's clutch. Number two, are they saying Larry Bird is better than LeBron because they think he's more clutch than LeBron? Because that, if that's it, that's insane. <laughs> that's it. There's no way. There's no way. No way. Like, like I said, I have no problem with y'all thinking Larry Bird is more clutch than LeBron. But if you're saying that's the only reason he's more clutch than LeBron, as him being better than LeBron, I don't like that. I don't like that. Be because... Well, if he's more clutch than LeBron, that's the only reason why he's better because he's more clutch. Y'all say that's horrible. That's horrible reasoning. That's my opinion. That's horrible. There's no, there's no contest. He's not even in Larry Bird's class. Right. Not even close. It's not even close. If you like stats, here's Larry Bird versus LeBron James season stats while both are at the age of 30. Larry Bird averages more points, more rebounds, more assists, and has a higher field goal percentage. So when someone asks you, what is Larry Bird better at than LeBron? You can say pretty much everything. Hold on, is he ahead of Larry? What? No, no. I'm only giving Larry Bird shooting. That's it. <laughs> he, Le Larry Bird shoot better than LeBron. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. He might rebound a little better than LeBron. I'll give shooting and rebound like just like a slight edge. But no, come on, y'all. LeBron is better than Larry Bird. Like, come on, y'all. Come on, we have to stop playing. Come on. You can say pretty much everything. Hold on, is he ahead of Larry Bird? No. No! no what that. was Bird better at? Bird's a better shooter. It's not close. Uh, I think Bird is as, okay, as we, good we, we, or better as a passer. We, a much more fluid, much more uh, natural passer than LeBron James, a creative passer. LeBron James, see, like, for a superstar, he's as good a passer as anyone outside of maybe Magic and Bird. Bird was a better passer. Do Bird's know, a better rebounder. The fact is that Larry Bird didn't stay healthy, and the fact is that basketball is played so differently okay. now. When it comes down to the end of a game in a championship series, I would rather have Larry Bird have the basketball. LeBron's a better passer than Larry Bird. LeBron is a top five passer in NBA history. Like, come on, y'all. Like I said, he said shooting. I said shooting. He said rebounding. I said rebounding by a little bit. Like I said, clutch. I don't know. But but if, if y'all think Larry Bird is more clutch than LeBron, I'm not mad at that. But I might be on LeBron's side in the clutch. Hey, LeBron's clutch, y'all. We should not we should not go sit here and act like LeBron is not clutch. It's countless times of LeBron being clutch. But it's like for some reason when he's clutch, we just <laughs> we just push it away. Like, oh, he still ain't clutch. <laughs> People still try to push that narrative that LeBron ain't clutch. I still think that's funny though. Well, duh. Is there any way on earth you would take LeBron James over Larry Bird in the clutch? There's no way on earth that I'd pick him over Larry Bird in the clutch. I can tell you that much. Larry Bird was not just a superior shooter from anywhere on the court, just like you highlighted. Not only was he a near 90% shooter from the free throw line, which LeBron can never brag about, but when you talk about money time, whether it's a particular juncture in the season where you're trying to position yourself for the playoffs, or you're talking about the last minutes of a game, or you're talking about the last shot in a game. Okay, I see that's an emphasis in this video. So since Larry Bird, as the video saying, since he's more clutch than LeBron, that means he's better. 
that's horrible reasoning. That might be just as bad as people saying MJ better than LeBron because he got six rings. Like, <laughs> like what? That's the only reasoning? Since y'all think he's more clever than LeBron, he's better? No. No. I have a legit reason why I think LeBron's better than Larry Bird. Yes, both of them all around. Like the guy said, Larry Bird got LeBron on shooting. Scoring, that, that's probably debatable. But LeBron, he's number one all-time in points. He might end up top five all-time in assists. That's insane. LeBron probably in his career with 40,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. Four-time champion. Four times finals MVP. Like the guy said, Larry Bird a better passer. No, LeBron's a better passer than Larry Bird. LeBron James in the NBA Finals in 2016 led both sides in points, rebounds, assists, steals and blocks lebron james is the greatest all-around player ever then you add lebron athleticism and his physical abilities like i said 6'8 250 260 40 inch vertical like come on you ain't messing with that <laughs> no nah, but no like i said like the larry bird fans out there i don't hate larry bird i'm not taking nothing away from larry bird larry bird is a great player all the credit he got he deserved like all the love he's getting he deserved it larry bird was that guy i'm not diminishing larry bird not one bit i'm just trying to, i'm just saying he's not better than lebron james that's all i'm saying but like with that comparison even the jordan fans if you think Michael Jordan better than LeBron, I, I'm not mad at that. But if your only reason for saying Michael Jordan is better than LeBron because he has six rings, I'm not with that. <laughs> like, that's not legit reasoning. But yeah, comment down below. Comment down below. Is Larry Bird better than LeBron? I'm very curious. I'm very curious. You know what? Now, is Larry Bird better than LeBron and Michael Jordan? I'm really curious about that one. Because a lot of people like Larry Bird. A lot of people like Larry Bird, for sure. Most definitely or you're talking about a game seven, or you're talking about anything that, that indicates clutch. You simply can't pick LeBron over Larry Bird because you can pick almost no one in NBA history over Larry Bird. When Wait, in a game seven? I for sure take a LeBron over Larry Bird. What? For sure take a LeBron. In a game seven? Most definitely taking LeBron. It indicates clutch. You simply can't pick LeBron over Larry Bird because you can pick almost no one in NBA history over Larry Bird. When it was money time, you knew where the ball was going and you also knew there was little to nothing that you could do about it. It was just a matter of whether or not Larry Bird was going to make it or miss it. But even despite all of those numbers, to those who actually saw Larry Bird play, the eye test is all they need. I know no, there are other numbers like that will support you on LeBron. I may lose this, but you know what? I'm going with these, all four of them. And I watched that dude dominate an Love era that has Larry some of the greatest Bird. players of all time playing. I, and this isn't a diss on LeBron. Hmm. I'm not dissing LeBron. I love LeBron. We both love LeBron. Everybody appreciates how great he was. But as time passes, it's easy to forget how great Larry Bird was. No, I... So all of that said, right here, right now, mm -hmm. Larry Bird remains the greatest small forward ever. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. LeBron's the greatest small forward ever. I think Skip Bayless thinks LeBron better than Larry Bird now. Like I said, wherever, whenever time he said that, LeBron had to be in Miami. He had to be. It was Miami or it was his late stages in his first stint with Cleveland. But there's no way people think that now. There's no way. Period. End of story. That was a very good video. That was a very good video. I like that video. That was a very good video. It got, it got me thinking about Larry Bird. No, he was nice, but... Better than LeBron, come on now. Come on now. I already made multiple points in this video about LeBron being better than Larry Bird. So, like I said, drop down in the comments below what y'all think about this video. Do y'all think Larry Bird better than LeBron? Do y'all think LeBron better than Larry Bird? Do you think Larry Bird the greatest basketball player of all time? Do you think LeBron the greatest ever, like I think? Yeah, just drop down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what y'all think. And I hope everyone have a blessed day. I'm out.